Hi, this is Danai, and today's video is a very short video with just one simple tip for you. But it is a tip that I find is very important and that can probably really change your piano playing. It is something that one of my teachers, Karl-Heinz Kemmerling, that I studied with for almost 10 years, used to say in almost every lesson and he always told us this is so important and I completely agree with him, especially now looking back, this is something that really is essential when you're playing and when, especially when you're trying to sound more musical, when you're trying to find a natural phrasing, when you're trying to make the melody sound organic and really build a phrase so that it makes sense to you and to the listener. Very often you'll hear people saying, oh, this pianist doesn't play very musical or he sounds more musical than he does. And this is something kind of abstract, I would say. What is musical, right? And you can try to achieve a certain atmosphere, bring a certain color to the sound, but playing musical is something very hard to achieve, but something very important because in the end it is what distinguishes the great performances from the average performances that many, many people can also achieve if they just practice and have a good technique. What my teacher used to say was focus not on the single notes, but focus on what is in between the notes. Focus on what is happening in between the notes because this is where the music happens. So this is the tip and what does that mean? This might sound a little bit abstract if I put it just like that, but if you think about it, it's in between the notes that the music actually happens. Very often it's also in the breaks that music happens. So if you have, let's say, a quarter note and then a break until the end of the bar and then a new phrase starts, it is how you form that break that probably is gonna have more of an influence on the music and on the musical outcome and result and feeling than how you shape the note itself. Of course, shaping notes and how you play them is very important, but this is something that we focus on anyway. If you try to start thinking about that, what it is that happens there, suddenly your phrase is gonna be shaped in a very different way. Because if you don't just focus on the points, if let's say the, the notes are certain points within the phrase, if you don't just focus on, the, on those points and try to reach them in any way, let's say the, the line goes like that, and then that doesn't necessarily make it musical if you stop focusing on just that, but then start focusing on how you're connecting those points and you're creating, for example, a perfect circle, that suddenly is going to shape, consciously shape a phrase and make it sound musical. Or maybe you don't actually want to create that perfect circle. Maybe you want to create an incredibly shocking peak because that is what is required in the piece at that moment. So let's say you connect two dots like this and then you continue. So think about what it is that is happening in between the notes. And this is what is going to give you a very musical outcome and a musical result. Music is so incredibly personal and everyone wants to put all their feelings and emotions into it and ideally have the audience experience certain feelings and certain emotions when they're listening to it. So the question is, how do we do that? Because very often I've seen people feel very intense emotions, but not really being able to have that translate into their playing. And I think that that is because they focus too much on the notes. They focus on trying to make that note sound sad or happy, and then the next one a different way. But then they don't have that magic ingredient, which is connecting them in a natural, organic way. And when I say organic, I mean in a way that just feels not forced. The listener, when he's listening, he doesn't want to hear something that sounds like it was very hard work or something that sounds very complicated. He just wants to be able to listen and enjoy something that makes sense, that is there like something that nature would create. It is just there and it makes sense. Something that is connected to that, that also Kemaling used to say in his lessons was to not just focus on how you press the key, because obviously that is important, uh, that goes without saying, and we all focus on that anyway, but to also focus on how you let the key go. So when you're playing, especially for example, if you're trying to do a legato phrase, don't just focus on how you press the notes, but also 
what happens when you actually lift the finger and then in connection to that how you connect it to the next note because this is actually going to help you to create again a, a correlation and a, and a connection between the notes and it's going to help you focus on what happens in between the notes because in the end the music is what happens in between the notes that's what Kemaling used to say and this is what I always remind myself of when I have the feeling that I'm not quite getting to the character of a piece or I'm not quite managing to shape the phrase correctly I always remind myself then I focus on what is in between the notes. I hope that it is something that is going to help you as well and that you enjoyed this video and I'll see you again in the next one. Bye!